Let's take a look now at two events which are used all the time when dealing with interactive forums. And these are the focus and the blur events. One of the main reasons for using these events is to provide helpful feedback to the user while they fill out a form. For example, there could be some validation that we want to do, like checking whether a password has a certain minimum amount of characters that we require. We can hook into these focus and blur events in real time to let the user know if their entry has met our requirements and past validation. We can also be providing the user with some helpful hints or some info on what the form requires. So that should give you somewhat of an idea of what they can be used for. But now let's see how they look and how they work. For this example, I've just created a super simple form here with two input fields. And this is how it looks in my HTML. Here's my form. And inside I have an input of type text and this is gonna be used for the username. And then I also have an input of type password which is gonna be used for a password. And I've also just included a submit button. We're not really gonna do anything with that here, but I just basically included it to make this look like an actual form. Now notice what happens if I click inside of one of these input fields. So if I click inside of username, we can see that it's now got this blue border here. And that's because this input element has taken focus. Basically the click of my mouse in this field triggered a focus event. And I can click in the password field as well. Now that's got a blue border. So this focus event, it kind of signifies that the user is in the input field and is ready to do something, ready to take some action. Now another way that an input field can get focus is through the use of the tab key. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit tab on my keyboard. And now you can see the first input field has gotten focus. And I can tab again to make the password field get focus. And if I had additional input fields, hitting the tab key would continue to focus on each successive field. Let's really quickly go back to VS Code and let's create an event listener, or let's add an event listener, I should say, to this input of type text so that we can see the focus event. We'll create a constant. Let's call it username input. And we'll do document.query selector. And let's grab it like this input. And then in brackets, we'll say type equals text. And then, like usual, we'll just add an event listener to this input. And what's the event type we want to listen for? It's going to be the focus event. And let's log out the event object. Let's go back to the browser. And to focus in on it, I'm going to tab. And you can see it fires a focus event. And here you can see type of focus. By the way, this video is part of a larger course called DOM Events in JavaScript. And if you're interested in JavaScript events in the DOM, and you want to create a really strong foundation of JavaScript skills, go ahead and check out the course further at the link below. All right, so now let's look at Blur. Let's go back to VS Code, and instead of focus for the username input, let's do the Blur event, and we'll see exactly when it gets fired. So now I'm gonna focus on the username input. I'm gonna do it this time by simply clicking into it, and you can see nothing was fired. But watch what happens as soon as I click away from it or out of it. Like I'll click in this password field. Now you can see that the event has been fired. And yeah, the event object, it's still called a focus event. But notice if we look at the type, now it's a blur. So basically blur meaning out of focus.